if you want to use mid journey for free so there's no actual proper way to use that but i can tell you about an ai tool that look and feels exactly like mid journey like the website is quite similar and not only that the kind of images you can create out of it i mean the lighting the naturalism the detailing everything looks almost similar to mid journey so yeah i'm talking about piglomin ai which is an amazing free ai image generator that looks and feel pretty much like mid journey so yeah without further ado let's see this amazing ai image generator all right guys so here i am in the home page of piglomin.ai where you guys can see it clearly shows that this is a free ai image generator so first of all for start using this we're we gonna go ahead and click on generate for free and it's gonna ask you then uh, to log in with your google account so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quickly all right so this is basically the home page of piccoloman.ai which is an amazing ai image generator that looks and feels exactly like mid journey where you get the option of explore create and in the explore section we have like different images that the community have made uh, which basically feels exactly like mid journey so if you are that type of guy who is very much in the habit of using mid journey so that would be an amazing free alternative for you guys so if you go ahead and go to the create section so you guys can see the create section also looks exactly like mid journey but we have an additional feature over here that we don't see in mid journey which is model so you can go ahead and choose your model right over here we have like default four models first when we have piccolo and realistic v2 then we have anime model as well then we have line art and then we also have the flux dot one chanel model as well so let's just say if you want to go ahead and use the flux model so this ai tool could be a very good source for you for that okay and then the next option we get is the aspect ratio so you have pretty much all the available aspect ratios that you can go ahead and select for your images and then you can also go ahead and set the number of images from one to four okay and down here we have our prompt box and on left you can go ahead and also upload your images for using image to image generation in piccolomin.ai and then uh, you also have the option to add your parameters so in that you also get few of the extra parameters that we used to see in stable diffusion like negative prompt cfg scale you can also go ahead and edit your number of steps so you know the more the steps the better would be the image quality and the processing and then you can also go ahead and customize your seed value as well so first of all we're going to go ahead and create some images with piglomin ai and i'm going to go ahead and compare them with midjourney just to see how much of similarity we're going to get of this tool with midjourney just to see like whether it will be a perfect alternative of midjourney or not so first of all i'll be taking these set of images as my reference in piglomin.ai so these were a few of the creations that i created in midjourney a few days before so i'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt from here come to my piclomin.ai and paste it right over here all right and then we're going to go ahead and keep the aspect ratio same as well which was 9 by 16 so for that i'm going to go to this aspect ratio section select 9 by 16 from here and the rest of the parameter is going to be the same cfg value 4.5 which is actually, I think, quite accurate for our human realistic portraits. And the number of steps is going to be the same. We're going to leave the negative prompt as it is. So now let's just go ahead and generate this and compare our outputs, okay? All right, so here are four of the images that we got out of piclomin.ai. And right off the bat, you guys can see the images look quite beautiful, right? It is looking just as our mid-journey result. So this is the second one. We have the third one and the fourth one, right? You guys can see. The images look really really natural really accurate the detailing is really good and you know it doesn't look like it's kind of an ai generated image it's like take a look at uh, the quality of the image right uh, like the jacket detail everything uh like the detail on the face everything looks top notch in that so if you go ahead and quickly compare that uh, to the mid journey result so here we go guys on left we have the image of piclomin.ai and on right we have mid journey result so you guys can take a look both of the results look really really good uh, the bouquet effect is really accurate and you know the result is looking very very similar like take a look at the jacket in both of the image right it looks very accurate very realistic and you know we can say there is nothing wrong in both of the results you know the bouquet effect is excellent uh, the detailing on the face looks really really good in both of the images just you guys can see uh, we have a lot more detail in the mid journey image but you can obviously go ahead and fix that if you will be upscaling the image in piclomin.ai but yeah, other than that both of the results look really really good right 
All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and take these set of images uh, for our human portrait. So this is professional portrait photograph of an older Native American woman. All right, so these are the results for our images. And you can see the aspect ratio is now 16 by 9, the cinematic aspect ratio. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and keep my aspect ratio the same in Picolumen AI. And now let's just go ahead and compare the results. All right, so take a look at both of the results, you guys. On left, we have uh, the image of Picolumen.ai and on right, we have of mid journey and both images are in same like almost same aspect ratio but you guys can see how much similar both of the images look right like detailing everything the background the bouquet effect is absolutely same and yeah you guys can see the piglomen it get pretty much good results like check out the detailing on the face the expression uh the clothing everything looks top notch and so is the mid journey results so yeah you guys can clearly like get an idea like this is a perfect alternative uh, of mid journey like you can use that for absolutely free the look and feel of the website is exactly the same so yeah these both images look really really good you guys right all right so next i'm gonna go ahead and take these set of images from mid journey so yeah, you guys can see these images are in 9 by 16 aspect ratio so i'm gonna go ahead and copy the prompt and let's generate results in our piclumen ai okay all right, so here are four of the results that we got in picklumen.ai. Uh, so these are for the results. So if you go ahead and compare it with Midjourney. So in this case, I must say I'm very much liking, you know, how much natural the Picklumen image is. Like, take a look at this, right? On right, the Midjourney image, I don't get the lighting details uh, in this image. But on left, the Picklumen one, it looks really, really natural. The natural sunlight is hitting on her face. And, you know, everything is too good about this image but if i have to select the best one i would say the piclumen did a really good job in generating this amazing realistic human portrait okay all right so for our next example i basically went ahead and tried uh, to create these set of images in our piclumen ai which is basically a street photography of a young couple standing side by side so this is kind of a you know half body shot and these were a few of the results that i caught in piclumen ai so you guys can see in all of these images we can see a little bit of a deformation we have like a morphing effect and you know the images aren't looking that good you guys can take an idea from this result there is a severe problem in the eyes of both of our models similarly like you know the face is completely blown away and you know similarly for this image as well so how you can go ahead and fix that is really simple so let's just say uh, from these results, I can go ahead and click on this three dot and click on remix. So, you know, it will basically go ahead and copy my same prompt uh, into the prompt box of piglumen.ai. And from here, I can simply go ahead and increase my steps all the way to the maximum, which is 60. And now what it's going to do is going to take more time processing my whole image and create better result for me. OK, so now if I go ahead and generate this image. So this is the kind of a result that I got that is basically very much better than our last results. So now uh, the morphing effect, uh, the deformation is very less as compared to my last images. You know, with steps done all the way to the maximum, you can go ahead and pretty much improve your results uh, from the previous generations. OK, OK, so next up, I basically went ahead and also created three of the landscapes in Piclumen AI. So these are some of the generation that I got out of it. So this is a magnificent medieval castle nestled between the hills and the fields. And these are the kind of results it generated. You guys can get an idea. These look absolutely perfect, you guys, right? So yeah, one another very cool feature I'm going to go ahead and discuss with you guys is the expand one. Okay, so now if you go ahead and click on this expand button and it will give you the option to expand uh, the aspect ratio of your image. So let's just say I want to change this one by one aspect ratio to kind of like 16 by nine. So I can simply drag this uh, to my right and drag this to my left as well. And then simply click on submit. So now what it will do is gonna go ahead and create another results, but this time on left and right, it's gonna fill the gaps and create a very amazing result. Like take a look at this. You guys can get an idea. This image looks absolutely perfect. You know, it basically expanded uh, our image quite beautifully and now this is looking like a complete image in quite 16 by 9 aspect ratio and yeah the result now is looking really really good you guys right so similarly this is my another image of a breathtaking mountain range with a crystal clear lake at the base this is also another landscape image so you guys can take an idea these all images look really really good and if i go ahead and compare the results with mid journey so yeah, take a look at both of the results. The results are looking quite similar. 
Like the details are really, really good in both of the images. But yeah, according to me, the Piglumen image is looking much pleaser to my eye than the mid journey one right all right so here are some of the more generations of our animal photos so on left we have image of a labrador in piccolomen ai and on right we have in mid journey so you guys can take an idea both of the images look really really identical the results are great the detailing is absolutely beautiful the portrait the bouquet effect everything looks really really good and you guys can see you know uh, the results turn out really really beautiful for both of the images over here right Okay, so the last one we have is this very amazing image of a bulldog who is wearing a leather jacket. So on left, we have image of a Piccolomen AI and on right, we have mid journey. So you guys can see both of the images have their own styles, uh, you know, but yeah, both of the results look really, really great. The Piccolomen came out with absolutely beauty over here. We have a little rain effect and yeah, on right, we have a mid journey, but yeah, I must say, uh, if you go ahead and talk about like which image is looking more natural, so I would definitely go with Piglumen AI in this one, okay? All right, so there you go, guys. This was a complete overview of a very amazing new AI image generator, Piglumen AI, which basically looks exactly like Mid Journey, and yet the results were quite beautiful as well. You know, it basically behaves same like Mid Journey as well, and with that. You can go ahead and create some of the amazing results possible, right? So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.